Hi, my name is Father Michael and welcome back to a new season of Friar Art. Last week, we talked about a cultural movement that dominated the art world in the first half of the 19th century, Romanticism, a movement that plays an emphasis on the artist's inspiration that is based on their own imagination and senses. The prestige of landscape painting was also resurrected during this time in art history. And one of the most famous landscape painters during the Romanticism era was Joseph Malord William Turner. Turner is perhaps the most loved English Romantic artist at the time. He became known as the Painter of Light because of his increasing interest in brilliant colors as the main component in his landscapes and seascapes. Turner was born near Covent Garden in London in 1775. He entered the Royal Academy schools in 1789, and he had a very traditional approach in landscape paintings. Turner painted very many views, showing different scenic locations around United Kingdom and Europe. And he made many oil paintings that told well-known stories, often from classical myth set in beautiful landscapes. Turner, during his time, often would shock his contemporaries with his loose brush strokes and quite vibrant color palette. And this is something that is very new at that time, not quite like the other painters. One of his famous landscape paintings is entitled Wreckers, Coast of Northumberland with a Steamboat assisting a ship of shore. I know, with that title, I feel like I don't even have to explain the painting. But if you look at the painting closely, you will be mesmerized by Turner's action-packed brushstrokes. The colors are vibrant, and it radiates the action and the energy that is happening within the scene. The powerful waves crushing through the coast, a ship that is clearly engulfed by a huge storm, you know, the clouds forceful in their movements. It conveys the unseen power of the wind, the power of nature. That wind stirs up the waves that toss the ship and sprays water forcefully against the coast. And in the middle of the painting is a dark patch of color. At first glance, it looked like a wreckage. But if you look closely, they're actually people. Survivors of the wreckage, perhaps? or as some art historian mentioned, they were actually wreckers, wreckers who deliberately put ships into danger so that they could steal valuables washed ashore after the vessel had wrecked. You know, the responsorial psalm on the first Sunday of Lent is beautiful. It reminds us that our Lord is always with us. Be with me, O Lord, when I am in trouble, as the psalmist sings. And He is truly with us, especially when we are in trouble. I know sometimes we feel like those people in Turner's paintings. We feel so small when we are in the middle of a huge storm. Perhaps this first week of Lent has been challenging for us already, faced with the many challenges of our everyday lives, the many unknown brought to us by the pandemic, dealing with a sick parent or a child, perhaps grieving the loss of your loved one. You know, whatever storm we might feel like we are in the middle of, we must remember that our God is always there with us. He is like that beautiful light that exists in all of Turner's paintings, a light that will always guide us through any storm, a light that would always be there for us, a light that will never, ever fade away.